I know. Just like my helicopter here will uh, put the needles. So you bring it in the normal operating range, 32, 30, 300 for the engine RPM. And then the main rotor is about 350. So you split it by rolling the throttle off. In this case, left pedal. And you, you get, see how you they get split. Backwards sometimes, confused? Uh, I have to mentally think about it. And there's Brian. Look, he's happy. Yeah. He's happy about his end. He made shit happen. Yeah. All right, we'll do our mag check. One, two. One, two. One, two. Between the two. Maybe 50 between the two, and barely a 50 RPM drop, so. Nice. Got to let the cylinder head temp come up first? Nope. Hydraulic switch is on. Oil pressure is good. Oil temperature is good. Training temp is good. And that thing didn't even barely got to 100. It only went up above 100 when we were sitting here idling. Yeah. Uh, 360014, visibility 7, sky condition yep. 3,500 scattered. Temperature 16, 2.09, altimeter 3028. Expect the visual approach, runway 36, traffic current altitude 1,000 feet. Caution, bird activity in the air. There's more of it. Runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise space coast tires contact you if aid is information Zulu. Space coast tires information Zulu. No, on Zulu. Wind 36. Space Coast Tower, helicopter 1342 X-ray. Roger that. Oh, Jack, sir, you can just call me with your request, sir. I hear you. Okay, helicopter 1342 X-ray, VAC ramp information, Zulu, like a northbound departure, and then uh, we're going to orbit over the north side of the class delta about four nautical miles for a couple turns, then we'll head out to the west. And the run three four two X-ray departure for the ramp of each own risk wind three six zero at one four on course. Okay, uh, departure at my own risk on course. Helicopter four two X-ray. Can do vertical on this? We can, yeah. We'll do a maximum performance, but I do everything slow in this thing, man. Yep. I don't I don't want this uh, thing to go squirrely on me, so I take take my time, get her stable. Knowing it's a little bit of left pedal versus right pedal on the rotor way. I seen you uh, right skid wouldn't come off the ground easily. Yeah, there's the right skid. That's a lot easier this time, huh? Yeah. Nice, sweet. And you got nice visibility. Is freaking visibility phenomenal. with this uh, bird. Some collected friction on, there it goes. Or is that? that? No, right I got there? it. It's right under no, I mean, my, my right thigh, yeah. So it'll uh lock it, it up? It'll it'll drop. Collective drops on you. I mean it'll lock it for you in place? Uh it'll hold it, it'll give it friction where it doesn't fall out of place. So we'll head over to the house. That sounds good. No vertical speed indicator, you just got air speed altimeter, you know, yeah. like very basic, but she flies so smooth, man. Even in the winds, man, it's, you know, it's probably 15, 20 mile per hour winds up here. I think, um, I wonder if Phil's home. Pick out of it. Is he home today? I don't know. Excellent. He's such a good dude, you know? Sure. He, he took it for me, taking the kids. <laughs> he took one for the team? <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> That's great. And I like the visibility in here. It's fucking awesome. Ain't it? All right, come on, controls. Roger, coming on. So you're collective. You don't worry about the throttle. So everything's a little bit backwards, but you have control. So control. staying here, in and out. You got the rotor disc about one-fifth above the horizon. Yeah. You can see... This one's better, the oh, reference yeah. of the uh, the rotor disc to the horizon. Yaw string there, so you need right pedal. Right pedal. Right pedal, right pedal, and there it is. She's in trim. A little more right pedal right That's there. It. That's there where it is. Right? Yeah. That's good. 
And then in your scan, you're just coming in here and looking. 19 40, inches 60, is 70 good. miles an hour? Yeah, that's it. 60, 70, man. He's not. My rotorway is faster than this, so. Oh, is it really? Yep. Hi, this little tower, uh, Dakota 2206 Bravo. Beautiful. Dakota 2206 Bravo, Space Coast Tower. Yep, everything's uh, smooth. Space Bravo, we're 10 miles south. Uh, we have we have information. Uh, oh, jeez. I forgot oh, what geez. it was. Oh, jeez. Did you hear me? Uh, we got Zulu oh, runway 36, sir. Uh, using Pinion on the straight in and 36 reported two mile final. Two mile final for 36, 06 Bravo. What are you uh, really monitoring here for the instruments? Uh, rotor RPM, so the engine in the green, uh, manifold pressure, high cruise at 19 inches, altitude, uh, and then I'm down here looking at my triple tack. Well, it's not really a triple tack, but anyway, your triple gauge here. So transmission temperature, oil pressure, oil temperature, cylinder head temperature. I mean, in forward flight, I never see this thing even get to 100 because it's got an upgraded uh, uh, cooling fan, you know, that shroud over there. So if I see a drop in oil pressure and I see a rise in oil temperature, I know I'm, I'm having a potential low oil situation. Ooh. And if I get into that situation, I look for a landing zone. Uh, but rotor RPM is life, right? So if we had a catastrophic engine failure, this, we would have more time to lower the collective in this aircraft versus another machine. So when it goes down into red, you give it a little more gas? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go over public. But as long as you keep the uh, yeah, as long as you keep the collective fixed, you'll be okay. That's a little bit different scan, you know. It's like you got to kind of get used to this aircraft. Yeah. Got a lot of right uh, pedal on this, huh? Well, you're you're getting pulled to the to the left with the wind. The wind's oh, coming strong okay. from the north. So you got to take that in consideration when you're trying to fly over something with uh, 20 knot winds up. Winds a lot. Do that so you're getting hit with some of that oh, turbulence. Yeah. Yep. That's what's happening. And come back inside because you're climbing. So that's why you got to kind of look back and forth. Look so at the horizon keep, with the keep rotor a fist. disc. Keep come a back fist in. on the rotor disc. And yeah, like about a fist. Yeah. And that's that's level. So you could use the rotor disc more in this helicopter than you can in the rotorway. It's easier to see. Here, get this for a sec. You got it? Out of control. control. See what control. control says. What kind of trouble? Hey, we're going to fly over fields. Okay? Okay. Fly over our houses. Okay. I told him we're going to fly over in five. Take picks. Where's your fuel level? Down here, behind the fog. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So she's burning about, oh, he says he on the high side, 15 gallons an hour. So we had 35 gallons. So I got over two gallons of fuel. I'm sorry, two hours of fuel. There's my house. Randy's not there. Look at Keith and Joanne's house. Boom. Remember that light? Houston, we got a problem. Remember that? <laughs> Remember that? Got Holy a blue, shit. We got a blue light. Blue light special. Can you hover in one area? Should be able to, yeah. Got a ton of wind. He's going to think, oh shit, they're out again. Guy's out again. Said that the canine took him down yesterday. Turn to the right, or can you? A little bit. Oh, there's a, a net. I see a net in the backyard. Hi, this tower, 06 Bravo, two mile final. And 06 Bravo, runway 36, you are clear to the answer. There's a land, 36, 06 Bravo. <laughs> All right, we're going over towards uh, Harris now.
We got one tower over there. We're outside the class delta now. Tower helicopter 42 X ray just clear the delta to the north, though. We'll do frequency change at this time. And I'm going for X ray, Roger. Talk to you soon. Hey, smile. Traffic, uh, red RV is about uh, four miles to the uh, north northwest. The entering left downwind to three three. Our third dot. All right, I got the uh, what's the name of this the estates? Amelot. Amelot and state. I don't think you do, it's over there. Right over oh, here? Oh yeah, it's right over there. Jesus, yeah. man, you fucking live there and you don't even know where you live. I know. Okay, if you go on this side over here, see where the building's? One, two, three. Go yeah. right over three, or between three and four, and then hover. Yeah, as long as go. I can put the nose into the wind, yeah, I'm you, comfortable. That's what I said, around three and four, if you turn over that way. Bill's car is right there. See him out in the driveway right there where that car's driving in? Yeah. How low can you go? I don't want to go any lower than 500. Roger. I'm in a bad situation if we do lose one. I'll take a picture of Phil. 06 Bravo, you know where you're parking this morning? Uh, negative. I need to go where I can grab an Uber to get over to the space center. Uh, okay, we'll try to left turn there. Go to left there on Charlie. Then a left turn on Echo. That'll get you the Space Coast Jet Center. They'll probably be able to take care of you over there. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. I think, oh shit, another shooting. And Camelot. Another shooting. <laughs> Can you turn this way and, and take off that way toward the water? Uh, there's the, uh, the Class Delta, so we're right just north of it. Okay. I mean, just turn this way and go toward the water. They get a nice side shot of us. Right. Randy said two cross thrusters just walked into her nail salon. <laughs> They're done. Want to go over the bridge and back, and then out that way? Uh, well, yeah, we'll go over to the bridge, and uh, we'll bring it back in. I don't want to take her out too long. I, I kind of promised Mel I wouldn't do more than half an hour. I'm already flying 45 minutes on her, so you have control. I have control. Just follow US-1, uh, 18 inches on the 500 feet. You're good to go. You have control. I have control. Arthur Dunn traffic, helicopter 42 X ray, Bell 47 helicopter, approximately two and a half miles to the southeast of the airfield over US 1, 500 feet, transitioning northbound, Arthur Dunn. Uh, you got control? I have control. Yeah, you just gotta twist it enough so it doesn't open up on you. Twist it enough? Is it good? I mean, it's right in the middle now. No. All right. I have it back. You have control? I have control. Yep, this fogs up, that fogs up, so. Hold on. Uh, so you're scanning there, so we're a little bit slow Hold right now. Traffic, jumpers away, jumpers away. Two canopies from 10,000 feet over her lung. Please get out over by the field. Or is that over? Uh, jumpers away at uh, canopies open. Probably over, right over the top there. See anybody? No. Don't overfly the airfield. Even with this door, I get a little chill coming through it. So I'm glad I put the fucking doors on. <laughs> Holy shit. He said shit. it's going to be roasting. I was like, yeah, I don't think so. No, it's, it's cold up here. What you do? Give it some more throttle? I did. I gave it a little gas. That's all. Why is that? I was at 18 inches. 19 oh, okay. right there. So I could just 
Give it a little throttle and increase the manifold pressure. So oh, that'll that will increase it then. Yeah, okay. you'll see that. You yeah. see that. Yeah, you can take it. it out. Yeah. So you we want it around 19. Yeah, 19. That's what, good. What will make this in the green range right here? Well, it's in the green. Yeah. I mean, how do you increase it? With the throttle. Yeah. With the throttle. Yeah. Yeah. The throttle has the same effect of increasing manifold pressure too, and unless you change the position of the collective. So if I roll the throttle on and lower the collective, then the manifold pressure would go down and the engine RPM would go up. Go over the bridge. That's fine. I don't see no jumpers out there, do you? Is that you? Is that the helicopter? Turn off the know. radio real quick? No, we're not transmitting. But turn off the radio? Just one, two. Some kind of interference. It's coming from the radio. Yeah. We got something going on. Little stage out there. Cool. I just remember that wind's gonna really freaking be coming from right to left now, so. Or left to right, pushing you to the south. Arthur, traffic King here is on the ramp, taxiing off down to 33, Arthur. Alright. Come back to the right, don't go too far, you can go into the NASA area. Oh, I, I usually go all the way out here. We're still outside about? the NASA area, right? If I go to the uh, edge of this water? No. Really? Where's the NASA area? Right there, uh, right where the, the bridge hits, not the mainland, but there you're, you're yeah. dangerously close to it. Yeah. yeah, that's where I normally go, is just yeah. right here. I don't ever go past it. Your altitude, you're in a little bit of a climb. Right. I've seen that when I was looking. <laughs> Arthur Dunn traffic, King Air is rolling on 3-3, jumpers in 10 minutes at 18,000, Arthur Dunn. Off 3-3, and they're good jumpers, so. That's Arthur Dunn. Are we going to head back now? Yeah. Alright, switching over. And this time I just want to land freaking south to north. Let's go south on US-1. Augusta 2-0, visibility 7, sky conditions 2,100 scattered, temperature 18, dew point 10, zero, two three zero two nine er expect the visual approach only 36, traffic right out to 1,000 feet, caution bird activity in the same airfield, read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Goodbye, First round of water coming out there. Information alpha. I don't see brown, well, yeah, it's still, there's still brown right around that area, just off our left. Yeah. But it just rains, so maybe it's the tannin from the mangroves, as they say. Yeah, but then they close it down and then you dump 7 million gallons. Space Coast Tower, helicopter 1342 X-ray, 5 miles north of the airfield, inbound full stop landing VAC with Alpha. I'd like to make a, uh, if I could, a south to north landing on Alpha Taxiway, if that works for you. Remember, uh, 42 X-ray, Space Coast Tower, put one mile north of the airport. Report one mile north of the airfield, helicopter 42 x ray. Yeah, that uh, that last approach, no bueno. I did not like that. I seen you coming 20. in, I was like, why is he dragging? I took my time coming in here because that's one of those situations. If it would turned into a tailwind, I would have went around. Getting into uh, settling with power, vortex ring state. Things, uh, things very docile, very nice. Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, 500 feet's good, looking good. Look at these homes down here, Joe. Yeah. You ever notice them? Yeah. I've seen them. They're nice. They're uh, big houses right here, right by the uh, old Sears Town Mall. I haven't even noticed them, really. And then uh, McDonald's there. Ace Hardware, just passing off that. Your right leg. Want to go to the left like a uh, yeah, right Yeah, just set yourself up for a right downwind, yeah. Landing lights on. I wonder how you can get all the moisture out of that gauge without taking it out. Well, I, I don't mean, know. Uh, uh, like I heard they apart. had pulled it out, they, they baked it. I think it's in the tube. No. Is it hard to take out and uh, redo? No, it's not. They've done it before. Well, you and I could do that because I did my instrument like that. It was all fogged up, took it all apart and cleaned it up. Yeah. I think, I think it just got moisture in the line and it stayed in there. 
I don't know, can you put like a desiccant thing in there? Like uh, like my air filter is for the... Uh, the... Uh, I don't really think you can because it's sealed on yeah. the outside. Yeah. And it'll be hard to do. It'll take uh, several days to do. But if you take it apart... Tower helicopter 42 X-ray is uh, one mile north of the airfield, setting up for a right down run to land on Alpha Taxiway in front of the BAC, if able. 42 X-ray, Taxiway Alpha, clear to land. Taxiway Alpha, clear to land. Helicopter 42 X-ray. Just got a little high. Started looking outside, talking. Uh, sorry, brother, you're all signed up. I have control, so yeah, uh, I, have control. I have control. Poor landing how checklist. Do you, how do you pitch it down, or can you change the pitch on it? Change the pitch? Yeah, because I had it held down the whole time it's coming up. Is there any? Oh, there's friction, but there's no trim. Okay. Yeah, so what you're asking for is uh, friction control, yeah. So there's a little uh, knurled knob here, and I can, like, tighten this down, and it'll hold it in position right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I usually keep the friction mostly off. door keeps popping open on you. Yeah. Hey, you're glad you put them doors on now, huh? Oh, hell yeah. You know, into the sun, you're kind of, you know, it's it's comfortable right now. Yeah. But at a long, prolonged period of time, you'd probably get hot, but you got air vents. But man, like when we were going out towards the, uh, the river, it was like, holy shit, how well, we got these damn doors on? You can't put three people in this one, can you? That you can, one, yeah. Can. You can you can take this out, and you got a little pad. Okay. So you can sit in person, and you can put in another pair of seatbelts, and it's got plugs for another uh, headset jack. That'd be freaking awesome take people for rides. They'd pay the money, too, you know? They would, but the insurance is going to be a lot of money, you know, like about 15 grand a year. I think you would uh, pay it off within a couple of